I had grace all the way up till a few minutes ago. Now, 7 p.m., I am through. So I am going into my chamber. We had a brother in Philly say, if you're sick, call the doctor. And then he was crazy. He said, and if you're dead, call the undertaker. <laughs> Establish and live within boundaries. Jesus is our example in all things, including balanced living. I love that Jesus didn't let people, I talked earlier about people who put themselves on your schedule, on your itinerary. Jesus didn't let that happen. Luke 5, let me give you an example. The news about Jesus spread all the more. This is verse 15 of Luke 5. The news about him spread all the more so that crowds of people came to hear him and be healed of their sicknesses. Verse 16. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Did you see the word withdrew? That means they're coming. If I'm still here, they're going to keep on draining me. This isn't my draining time. I need filler time. I need rest time. I need recreation time. I need sanity time. I need not you right now time. So he withdrew. It's not unchristian to withdraw. If Christ had to withdraw, God knows you have to withdraw. Ah, oh, mama, I need you, I need you. Not, not right now, you don't. And you're going to have to learn to do that. Matthew 8, verse 23. Then Jesus got into the boat with his disciples, and the disciples followed him. Suddenly, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the winds swept over the boat. Next sentence. But Jesus was sleeping. He said, let's go get in the boat. We're going to the other side of the lake. And they go on, on the lake, and the storm arose, and they're panicking. They run to where Jesus is on the boat, and he sleep. Why? Because he needed sleep. Plain and simple. Guess what? You need sleep. You are not so holy, sanctified, not so anointed, you don't need sleep. Some of y'all need sleep desperately. Some of you, your attitude is bad because you don't get enough rest. It's, it just, it's not all spiritual. Oh, it's just the devil in him. No, it's not the devil. He just needs some sleep. Just needs some rest. Now, you can act like the devil when you don't get it, but that's not the devil. It's you out of balance, and you got to get in balance. When you need sleep, nothing but sleep's going to help you. When you need rest, nothing but help but rest is going to help you. When you need to withdraw, nothing but withdrawing is going to help you. And you can't let people guilt you into doing what you shouldn't be doing and a particular time. There are times, I've told you over the years, where you need to walk out to the whole house, you are at your wit's end, and it's only 7 p.m. And announce to the house, I'm through, all my grace for today has run out. I had grace all the way up till a few minutes ago. I had it all on the job, had it on the commute, all the people flipping me off, giving me the bird. I had all, all of that. Now, 7 p.m., we've had dinner. I am through. I got nothing for you. So I am going into my chamber, and I don't want to hear y'all, see you, don't text me, don't call me, don't knock on my door. We had a brother in Philly say, if you're sick, call the doctor. And then he was crazy. He said, and if you're dead, call the undertaker. <laughs> when you're through, you're through. And there's no need of pretending like there's something else you ought to be doing. This is a wrap. We're done. Don't want to hear you. Don't want to see you but 
I need you. Jesus is available to you. Call him. <laughs> Call him in the morning. Call him in the noonday. Call him when the sun go down. Call him in the midnight hour. He will always answer because he has gone to a place where he doesn't need rest and he is available to you. I am not available to you. You got to be okay with that. All right, it's, are you hearing me? Boundaries are your job. They're not other people's job. They need, to, they need to look out better for me. Well, okay, maybe they should, but your job is to look out for yourself. I have to be my own CEO, chief enjoyment officer. I have to make sure I enjoy my life. I have to make sure I have everything I need. And when I run out of, of, of the ability to hang and to deal with folks, it's time for me to retire. That's, I've been there. You've been there. I, I've had those nights. I can't, I can't, Lord, please don't let me wake up. I just want to go be with you. That's because you were out of balance. That's why you wake up and you're mad. How come the Lord didn't take me? Because he's not finished with you. The problem was you keep letting other people put stuff on your plate that shouldn't be there and it's making you feel like you can't make it. Get that stuff off your plate. I had a best bishop years ago preach for us. He said, some of y'all, he said, picture your life as a tractor trailer. Some of y'all are hauling a whole bunch of stuff and most of the stuff in your trailer is not yours. It's other people's. He said, you need to, you had that courage to pull over to the side of the freeway, open up the back of that tractor trailer and start pulling stuff out. Call people as you pull out. This is yours. It's over here on Highway 80. <laughs> because you're hauling stuff that isn't yours. So you got to live within boundaries. Some of y'all keep yourself available by phone and text and, and email and all that too much. You need to unplug. These days we have to learn the blessing of unplugging. The world doesn't need access to you 24 hours a day. Bless your heart, you're not that important. You really are. They'll make you feel like it because they want you to give them what they want from you. But the reality is you're not that important. I've told you for decades. All you're going to do is die one day and all they're going to do is take you to the grave site. Hopefully them same folk that killed you will be there. Some of them probably won't even have the decency to be there. They just mad you're gone and they can't pull on you no more. But even if the ones that's there, you know what they're going to do? They're going to cry. Oh, Lord, she was everything. He, he was, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, but they're going to figure it out because they don't have an option because you're gone. Your body's going down right now. <laughs> going lower and down and then, then they get back in the cars. And when I grew up, you always went back to the church. Now they go to different places for repasses, restaurants and what have you. They went back to the church and, and at the church, they had chicken and potato salad and green beans and rolls and old people in the corner slicing pound cake and sweet potato pie. And everybody went back and got a plate, sat down, some still crying, some laughing, talking, but they all figuring out now what am I going to do? And you better get it figured out because they're not coming back. And so you got to do that. 